good morning students so we are with the another video of the chapter metallurgy that is the extraction of aluminium so we have only few parts of this chapter now in syllabus at the syllabus is reduced now so the very first part is the just a definition of minerals and ores and we just want to know the compositions of few ores and minerals okay now the second part is the alloy completely we had done the alloy part also their compositions and the uses only that are now in the syllabus okay now the third thing we need to do is the extraction of aluminium and in the extraction of aluminium metal in the extraction of this aluminium metal there are two processes which are involved the first one is the bears process and the second one is the whole herold's process okay and in both these processes we just need to know the complete conformations and the complete process the complete steps of the process how the process is going to occur now before starting the aluminium extraction of aluminium from is very uh, frequent ore that is our bauxite ore uh, we just know something of few things about the aluminium aluminium is in a metal with a symbol of capital a and small l atomic mass of aluminium is 27 atomic number of aluminium is 13 and for the electronic configuration of aluminium it is 2 8 and 3 that's the electronic configuration of aluminium if we talk about the color of aluminium metal then it say that its color is silvery white metal it is a silvery white metal and the few interesting point about the aluminium is that aluminium is the most abundant metal present in the earth crust it is the most abundant metal present among all the metals in the earth crust right and aluminium does not ever occur in its free state in the nature because it's a very 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 highly reactive metal so it cannot present in the free state in our nature okay now moving on to its extraction part for that extraction part we do firstly this bears process that what is the bears process is and how it is performing we are doing all this part with that okay so aluminium is extracted from its main ore that is al bauxite and its formula is al2o3.2h2o so we are extracting this aluminium from al2 O three dot two H two that is bauxite. You know what? In the bauxite ore, it is not present in this form only. If we so in the bauxite ore, then sixty percent of the bauxite ore contains alumina, that is Al two O three, and rest part being the sand, ferric oxide, and titanium oxide. And all these three things are the impurities present in the bauxite ore. So these are the impurities present on the bauxite ore. That's why we required a purification for these metals. Metals, that we are purifying these metals from the impurities like the sand ferric oxide and the titanium oxide okay this thing now for the purification we requires many methods to go on the very first thing we do is we finally we finally divide or grind the and crush the ore just a finely dividing and grinding the crushing and crushing the ore and after that crushing we just a uh, heated up the substance and after the heated up of the substance there are few impurities that can be evolved out that can be removed out okay the very first step we do is the grinding and crushing of the bauxite ore so here the bauxite ore is put in this side in this chamber and after that there are some blades present who can because that ore may be present in the form of a rock may be in present in the sum of a hard substance so we get get finally divide that ore in a powdery state so so that that Uh, if any impurity can be hand picked with the hand if any impurity can be removed by uh, just uh, picking some a uh, substance out so that can be removed or it become easy to remove the impurities so the very first step we do is the crusher with the help of a crusher or grinder we just grind the substance we just grind the al bauxite ore so we are grinding here the bauxite ore okay understand this thing and after grinding that bauxite ore that bauxite ore is going into this digester boxer and that digested boxer is mixed with this substance that is naoh and some amount of mm, water so we are adding in the that digester box is the naoh or sodium hydroxide so here is this the reaction 
at conversion of pure bauxite to the sodium aluminate before as the our bauxite ore is combining with this NaOH that is our sodium hydroxide substance and it is converted to sodium aluminate with the formula sodium NaAlO2 ice that is sodium aluminate and few water molecules are removing out for the from the reaction and this reaction is carried out at a temperature of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius okay that complete this process is carried out at a temperature of 150 to 200 degrees celsius and for that uh, process it requires two to eight hours to complete out okay that process will require completely two to eight hours to get complete out for that and next after this process the first one we do the conversion of pure of bauxite to the sodium aluminate that we did here by by just crushing the R bauxite ore and after add, adding NaOH to that crusher part right then just filter the crush part filter the sodium aluminate part from this side we are filtering that sodium aluminate part and after their filtration there is a presence of some substance that is called as red mud there is a presence of a few substance which is known as red mud and that red mud is nothing just a impurity portion that containing our ferric oxide and the sand okay when bauxite dissolves and there is a leaving behind insoluble impurity that is called as red mud so what we are saying that red mud is nothing just the ferric oxide and sand which can be removed by the simple filtration process so two impurities are removed that ferric oxide and the sand part now this filtration part after that that filtrate will go to the precipitator part to this precipitator part this filtrate is going and in that precipitator it is get cooled with the help with the water that that is get cooled with the water this sodium aluminate is get cooled with the water to convert it into sodium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide basically we required this part that is aluminium hydroxide from the sodium aluminate okay now in the after that uh, crushing part and that filtrate is now moving to the precipitator part where it get cooled with the help of water at a temperature of 50 to 60 degrees celsius because previously we are having a temperature of 150 to 200 degrees celsius now we cool down that temperature and we are doing this by adding water to the reaction part and that is making it aluminium hydroxide okay understand this thing now that oxide is converted to high aluminium hydroxide now in this case now in the aluminium hydroxide here you receive the your aluminium hydroxide so there is a another process where what we do we heat up there is like look this is the red part you see in the reaction part this diagram this is the red part where you are providing a great amount of heat that is up to 1100 degrees celsius and there is a calcinate which is called as calcinate in, in which we are providing the heat and that heat will remove out all the water present with this aluminium hydroxide and converting our aluminium hydroxide to this part that is alumina it is converting our aluminium hydroxide to the part which is known as alumina and here you get the process that alumina at converting to sodium aluminium hydroxide is converted to pure alumina that is Al2O3 by the removal of three water molecules that aluminium hydroxide get converted to alumina at temperature of up to 1000 to 11 degrees celsius we can say because in your books it is given as 1000 so you can take it's up to you you can take 1000 or you can take 11000 or you can also take from 1000 to 11000 that is fine there is no any problem with this thing either that temperature is 1000 or 1100 no any issue with that thing okay so now the filtrate which is coming that that alumina which is coming that filtrate which is coming now this is we get the pure alumina that is containing only aluminium oxide a uh, oxide of aluminium okay that is the oxide of an aluminium now now this aluminium oxide is having a very great affinity toward this oxygen atom 
like he really likes that oxygen atom and he doesn't want to remove or doesn't want to lose that oxygen atom from it so few simple reducing agents which are acting here reducing agent what the reducing agent will do that you already know that an agent is a agent which is removing that oxygen part from the aluminium and make the aluminium oxide or make the aluminium oxide reduced and isko kya karega wo iska reduction karega and reduction process says that there is a removal of oxygen atom and this oxygen atom will remove from this alumina but for doing this alumina reduction that means we are we want to remove that oxygen atom from this old alumina oxide so simple reducing agent cannot work on this alumina oxide because that aluminium wants oxygen it has a great affinity towards the oxygen atom so we require some strong reduction processes some strong reducing agents so we did here electrolytic refining we passed electricity from the alumina oxide and then we get our pure aluminium metal okay now from that alumina part from this alumina part if you want to get the pure aluminium metal so there is a last process occur that is known as electrolytic refining and to do the electrolytic refining of the fused alumina there is a process used that is called as whole halodes process that we really discuss in the next video till then i hope that part is clear to you now okay so thank you so much for this see you in the next video